Hey everyone, this is Paul. And what I wanna do in this video is talk about the different sync options we have here in Virtual DJ. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because Virtual DJ has like three different sync options, whereas most other DJ applications only have one. So it's important to understand what each of these do. If you're in the essentials page, you can find it under here between the sync button and the loop button. I don't think you can get to it from the starters page. Um, they try to hide that from you so you can't, um, so you don't get too confused. And then under pro view, you can see it up here um, under there's like the sync button and you can see these, these four lights are the same as the four lights here. So um, just remember whatever's turned on, if I, you know, let's say turn these two off, you'll see when I switch over to pro view that sure enough, these ones are turned off as well and the same on each of these decks. So what do each of these do? Well, auto match BPM, what this does is whenever you're playing a track, it will match the BPM to the, well, to the track that's playing. So suppose I'm playing a track over here on deck A, and when I go ahead and press play on deck B and then hit the sync button, boom, it's going to match the BPM. And sure enough, even if the track is paused, hitting sync will match the BPM. However, if you press play, the track will not adjust to the face, so you'd have to hit sync again, and then sure enough, boom, you can see when I hit that button, the grid adjusted. So let me go ahead and show you what that would look like. Suppose I nudge it out of phase. If I want to get the track back in phase, hitting the sync button again will line it up to the closest beat. Of course, this is only gonna work if you've set your beat grids properly, so be sure you've done that if you're gonna be using sync. Um, here in Virtual DJ, you can right click on the needle drop or the waveform, and you can go ahead and set it. Um, I'll have another video on how to set your beat grids here, but um, that's important to know how to do that way uh, you have uh, you have these locked. Otherwise, sync isn't gonna work the way you want it to. And most of the time, if sync doesn't sound good or it isn't working, it's probably because you haven't set your beat grid properly. So that's the way auto match BPM works. Um, pretty straightforward, to be honest. Um, yeah. Now, auto match key, what this is going to do is it will match the key of the track with basically the key of the track that's that's currently playing or whatever your current master deck is. Now, I don't like having this on and the reason for this is because I don't like it adjusting the pitch of the song because that will, of course, change the, the way that the song sounds. So I find it better to just basically leave it alone, um, to leave, leave auto match key off. I do find that auto match BPM can be useful when you have it on, so keep that in mind. Now, auto sync on play, if you remember before actually, when auto sync on play was not on and I hit the sync button and I press play, it's not, you would have to hit sync again to basically line up the grid. Now, if you don't wanna to have to do that, if you wanna make sure that the tracks are both in tempo in phase, you basically turn on auto sync on play and what will happen is if you're playing a track here and you press play on the new track, it'll make sure that it's both in phase and in tempo. So that can be pretty helpful as well. This last control here, um, this is really up to you whether you wanna have this on or not, I should say. Um, I tend not to really have it on, but when you're getting started, it may be worth having this on just to get, a hang, get the hang of it. This last control auto pitch lock is very, very important and I would very highly recommend you have it on. The reason for this is if I'm playing a track on deck A, and then I start the track on deck B and it lines up tempo and pitch. So BPM and pitch are lined up. And now I adjust the tempo on either deck. Notice how only one of the decks is changing. Now this is completely different than the way other DJ applications like Serato and DJ, like the DJ AY app work. They usually work where one of them is the master tempo and they both kind of follow what is going on. So auto pitch lock does exactly that. It turns this sync button into basically something that where when you control one, you're actually going to control both decks at once. So if I start playing on deck A and then I go ahead and press play on deck B, now these pitch faders will move together, which is very, very, very convenient. If you're trying to do any transitions, it's really, really nice to make sure that, you know, you're pretty much only using one pitch knob and they're both, they're both locked. They'll basically kind of do the, the, the same thing. So that's um, an option I would recommend keeping on. If you want to temporarily disable it, say you're playing both tracks and you realize the beat grid is off and you need to adjust it, you click this padlock button and now you're free to adjust the tempo of the track 
that you've unlocked. Um, if you hit sync, it'll relock it back um, if that's what you want it to do. But sometimes if the grid isn't on or you just need to free it, you can just do that and that'll work. The other thing that's really interesting, and this is actually unique to Virtual DJ, suppose you're playing two tracks at two different BPMs and you want to match the relative tempo difference between the two. So let's say one track's playing at one speed and you're kind of doing something tricky at another speed, maybe at halftime or something. Clicking this padlock, re-enabling it without hitting sync will actually cause both of them to scale relative to moving the tempo fader, which is actually very interesting. Pretty cool feature if you ask me. Most of the time you probably won't want to do that. Most of the time you'll probably want to hit sync and make sure that they're both moving together and they're locked at the same point, but if you wanted to respect the relative offset between the two, for instance, if a track doesn't have a beat grid um, and you've kind of lined it up manually, you can use this to actually speed up two tracks that are playing that aren't synced to the grid, which is kind of a neat feature there. So this hopefully explains what all these different sync features are here in Virtual DJ. Once again, I highly recommend keeping auto pitch lock on. The other features, it's really up to you um, whether or not you want them on. Of course, if you have this auto pitch lock on, it will basically also match the other one as well. So um, that's why it can be good to basically, um, whether or not you want to have that on or not is up to you. But I really do recommend having this auto pitch lock on because otherwise you have to basically redo it for every single track. And if you're trying to use sync and change the, the tempo of two decks at once, which is I think the best use of sync, then this is the way to do it. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm probably not gonna make a video about this in other DJ programs because those the sync button is pretty straightforward and tends to be, I don't know, tends to just work the way you expect it to. But this one, there's all these different options. So I thought it was a little bit confusing. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.